You ready to go? You gonna hold this one day? <laughs> you all ready to go? What is up guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Yak Pack Outdoors. Two things really quick before you get started. If you are not subscribed to this channel and you're watching this video right now, go ahead and take your thumbs and thumb punch that little red subscribe button. Go ahead and turn that little bell on if you please. All right, so that's gonna notify you every time I upload. Anyways, number two, if you don't, follow me on Instagram. It's, in, it's linked down in the description below. Uh, go there, a lot of people were commenting on the last video about they saw uh, you know, certain things that I was posting on Instagram that led up to the last video. People on Instagram get a uh, behind the scenes story you know, in my life and in these YouTube videos. So follow me there, subscribe, hit the little bell, get notified. Let's go into dicks. That's what we're doing today, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna see how many fishing lures that I can get for $25. Also here to get something else for the kayak, but that's for a different video. Say what's up to wife, Whitney, and G-Man. Hi. Bella's right here, we gotta get Bella out. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead. Let's get inside. You guys riding dirty? Daddy. Yeah. All right, change of plans. We came in here, we were gonna get a uh, like a $20 life vest, like a PFD for these uh, future kayak videos and spend the rest basically 25 on uh, tackle. But I think what we're gonna do instead is I'm gonna go to Walmart and get a PFD because they all they have here is like the Chinook uh, PFDs, which are really, really good. They're also really, really expensive. So with that being said, let's dive into uh, $50 worth of tackle from Dick's Sporting Goods. <laughs> this is rocking out. All right, so Bella picked these out. I'm not gonna get these, but do you guys know what pink is used for? Bed fishing, okay? So pink, and then, uh, here we go. These right here are the two best bed fishing lures you can get. Pink trick worms and white trick worms. And that is because you can see them in the water while you're bed fishing, and that is exactly what you want. Those fish don't care nothing about color because they don't care what's, you know, what something looks like or anything like that. They're, they're guarding their fry, they're guarding their eggs, and, um, if something you know crosses their bed or gets in their bed and interesting if something crosses their bed or gets into their bed or anything crazy like that they're just going to eat it and it's not necessarily that they're eating it they're just going to pick it up to move it and you can see them pick those white and pink lures up let's keep shopping first we are going to get some uh some zoom trick worms some solid blacks these when everything else fails when all else fails this is what you bust out whether it be weightless or with a tungsten weight this is it right here all right, so next up, we're, uh, we're looking, we're in South Florida right now, right? So 12 months out of the year, rattle trap season. I'm telling you guys right now. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking for a chrome and maybe a little bit of blue. Chrome, that's the way to go for rattle traps. All right, rattle trap. Next up, this right here. This is the rattle trap that caught me my personal best smallmouth in Oklahoma last year. Six pound smallmouth, all right. This is, uh, I believe, 3 8 ounce. Sexy Prism is the color. This is a cop, for sure. $6.99, we're gonna round it up to seven and we're not gonna count taxes because that's no fun. Just like my boy Lojo Fishing said, let's keep going. So we're looking for spinnerbait next and uh, I run across these War Eagles, 3 8 ounce. I usually like half ounce. I like bigger, fatter, heavier spinnerbaits. Uh, War Eagles are really, really good. I love the, uh, the Willow Blade but I like two silver willow blades. So I think what we're gonna do is I saw something over here, right here. This is a half ounce and it is literally, this is the move right here. It already comes with a trailer hook. It's got two willow leaves on it. That's the move right here. This is what we're gonna get. I haven't seen these before, but these look eerily familiar to the Wobber Floppers. Interesting. All right, Savage, we see you. Daddy won't move this boat. Yeah. Hang on, Daddy won't... What? I want Daddy won't move this boat. She wants me to get this boat. Yeah. How about we get a, uh, a bonafide kayak instead? What do you say? All right, so another hard bait on the list of things that we absolutely need fishing here in South Florida, uh, both for largemouth and for peacock bass, is a spook. So I personally love the spook or Spook Jr. in the bone color. Uh, definitely gonna be needing some more hooks though because I, I love this, love the Spooks, but I do not like the uh, the hooks that it comes with. So we'll be putting some size two or size three Gamakatsu hooks on them 
and I will be calling that a day. But this, definitely gonna get this. Eight bucks, that puts us to almost around 30. So uh, let's go see if we can cap off this budget. So I just ran across these random uh, baits and basically, for those of you that know me at all, period, you guys know Academy is literally my favorite place to shop ever and I swear by Academy's hard baits. Uh, but I just ran across what I assume is Dick's brand and it's called Jawbone. Uh, and I ran across this little crankbait right here. So I think I'm gonna get this too. It's a two inch in total crankbait. It's got some weak looking hooks on it, I'm not gonna lie, but it also says it dives four to six feet. So we're gonna give this a shot as well. This is $3. So that puts us at, we're, 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 we're climbing the ladder now. We're climbing the ladder to $50. We're almost there. We're gonna keep shopping until we find exactly what we need. Say like and subscribe. Go dog. Go dogs? Yeah. That's almost like and subscribe. Pro tip when buying uh, these Kitek style baits, don't buy the little ones, unless that's just your thing. Buy the bigger ones, trim these off. That way you can get the little ones, you know? So you, you've already got the big. If, if big is not working, you can trim them. It's a little. It'll save you some money and uh, possibly some heartache. Wow, look at these. These are huge. I haven't seen these. These, in my opinion, personally, they go best on uh, chatter baits. So I got that spinner bait earlier, right? And I don't really use trailers on spinner baits or anything like that. Just put a trailer hook on it. Same as a buzz bait. I don't use trailers for those i just literally just use a uh, trailer hook and call it good all right we're almost done i think we need one more thing and we're gonna I think i know what it is i think I think i know what it is you guys already know the deal i was just talking about googan baits the other day in the last video so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get these mondo worms right i like fishing with big worms i like big worms you know what i'm saying these right here that's the move though what do we got black with blue flake yep that's the juice you guys know it all right Let's see how much it cost. You guys ready? All right, so we spent $37.71 out of the $50 budget. Uh, so that left us some room for a Red Bull and some snacks in the morning before we hit the water. We did pretty good. People look at you like really, really weird when you're trying to get a thumbnail. But hey, they don't know nothing about this YouTube life, baby, let's go. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're loading these kids up and we're gonna go get something to eat, probably right over here at Texas Roadhouse because that's the move right there. Texas Roadhouse is the move. Would you agree? When I get back home, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of talk about why I chose what I chose. Uh, and we, like I said, stayed under the budget. It's always a good thing. I like to show you guys that you don't have to go out and you don't have to buy the most expensive and the most crazy stuff like to be able to go catch fish. We're going to eat, see you guys at the house. All right guys, so we're back at home and uh, we're gonna go over right now what I chose and why I chose that. All right, we're gonna just start with the soft plastics. So, Zoom trick worms. Why would I choose Zoom trick worms? Uh, again, like I said earlier in this video, the solid black trick worm to me has been a, an always. If you're struggling to catch fish, period, you put one of these on, whether it be weightless, Texas rig, wacky rig, whatever the case may be, uh, you put one of these on, you're more than likely gonna catch fish unless the conditions are just absolute trash, you know? All right, so moving along, very similar, in all honesty, very similar, uh, similar presentations, I should say, the Guggen baits, the Mondo worm. Now this had a lot of hype around it. I have yet to be able to fish with these. I'm gonna take these out today, actually. That's stay tuned. That video's coming. It's a, we're going kayak fishing today, but I'm actually really impressed with the way these look. Um, we're just, I'm just gonna see if they work, you know? Just straight up, see if they work. They look really good and they're in black and blue flake, so look like they're gonna work. Anything black and blue, black or black and red, that is my go-to, that is always my go-to. All right, now moving right along, we have the uh, Strike King Banshee Series uh, Spinnerbait. And again, just like I was saying in last night's video, this is my all-time go-to favorite style spinnerbait. Not this specific brand, but uh, just the two willow leaves on it, silver, just a white with maybe some silver in it, you know, to kind of put off like uh, any kind of bait fish type deal. Uh, I like solid white spinner baits. I've always had the best luck on those. Uh, and again, this one comes with a trailer hook actually. So you don't have to buy a different set of trailer hooks. Um, and I don't put trailers at all on these. Like I said earlier, I just use a trailer hook. I just I don't know, I feel like I catch more fish when I just use a trailer hook rather than using a trailer. I've, I've had more success with uh, just a trailer hook. 
Again, very solid lure though. It looks very good for five bucks. I mean, pretty dang good spinnerbait. Now my favorite lure that I bought today was the uh, the Head and Spook Junior. Now you guys, it's probably really bright. You guys probably can't see that. Just a regular spook, nothing special. Um, and actually it was, it was fairly overpriced. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. You can get these things at Walmart for like, I think three ninety nine or four ninety nine, something like that. It was eight bucks at, at Dick's. But what I said to you guys earlier uh, is that I'm gonna take these hooks off because I really, I just don't like these hooks. I'm gonna put some mustads on them. And uh, I actually said the size wrong last night. I said size one. These are size sixes. Uh, KVD grip treble hooks. That's just what they are. That's what I'm gonna change out and put on these. These mustads are a little bit stronger. I wanted Gamagatsu, but I couldn't find the right ones. So these are gonna be just fine. Mustads just as good. All right, <clears throat> crankbaits, 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 crankbaits. I preach crankbaits. You can throw a crankbait any time of the year. Meh, maybe not during the spawn, just because the they're locked on the beds and they're not really actively going out looking for food, and that's kind of what a crankbait is. So any other time of the year, other than the spawn, crankbaits are good to throw. Now, you guys know me. I'm a huge, huge advocate of Academy Sports and Outdoors in general. I love Academy. That's my home. But this is the Dix brand, the Jawbone Tackle Company crankbaits. We're going to give these a shot. I can't really speak much on these. I will also probably change the hooks out to these mustads. Uh, just because I I don't know. I don't know about these. I don't know about these hooks. It looks really good. It looks almost like one of the, um, oh goodness, Alex Red uses them all the time. Bandits, I believe they're called. Bandit crankbaits. I, I could be wrong. I could be, Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but it looks almost like that. It's got the smaller body with the huge eyes right up front. And those things slay, man. He catches a ton of smallmouth on those all the time. All right, last but not least, we have the original rattle trap now this is my all-time favorite color in the rattle trap the sexy prism caught my personal best smallmouth on uh this exact not this exact but this exact lure uh i'll put that right down like right here somewhere so you guys can see a screenshot of that really quick if you haven't seen that video then uh, I, I highly suggest you go and watch it because my first smallmouth ever was a six pound smallmouth and it was yo-yo in the rattle trap uh that's something i covered in a video actually uh, a couple days ago my favorite retrieve with a crankbait is to yo-yo it. You can go back, watch that video. Uh, again, highly recommended. Solid tips and tricks in that video. But the Rattle Trap Man, we're in South Florida. Anywhere in Florida, you can't go wrong year-round with a Rattle Trap. You could throw this thing on a bed. Uh, this is kind of not like a crankbait, you know what I'm saying? You could throw this and just toss it on the bed. And with it just looking like it does, and it is loud as it is, it's really going to irritate that, that, uh, that bed and bass. And uh, he's probably going to gulp this thing right up. But... We're going to wrap it up. With all that being said, guys, thanks for watching. I, I, I sincerely appreciate all of your support. Again, if you made it this far in the video and you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that red uh, subscribe button. Don't forget to turn those little notifications on. It's a little bell. You can't miss it. You literally can't miss it. Uh, thank you again, guys. Uh, seriously, thank you for all the support. Appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you all next time.